Hi and welcome back to MildurawEekly.com.au and this is State of Play. Joining me today is Merbeen's young gun, Josh Carmichael. Welcome Josh. Thanks Mitch, it's good to be here. I uh, appreciate you coming in. Um, I guess obviously coming off the bye last week, you've got Redcliffe's this week coming up and things are looking pretty rosy out at uh, Merbeen at the moment. Kenny Park's got a bit of a revamp going and close loss followed by a really good win in round two. It must all be uh, pretty nice out there at the moment. Yeah, things are going very well out of the nest. Um, we're just not getting ahead of ourselves just yet though. We're just, yeah, just try and keep it rolling, get a bit of momentum and get a few more wins, which will be nice. And for yourself personally, mate, obviously had a really good second round game. I think it was over 30 touches with a couple of goals in there as well. Uh, it looks like you've hit the ground running this year. How are you feeling out there on the ground at the moment? Yeah, no, it's good. It's a it's an exciting bunch to play with. Like we're all sort of gelling together, and what I do, other blokes do twice as much. So we're all working together and complementing each other really well. So it's a, it's a good feeling and a good group to sort of play amongst, and they sort of help you do well yourself. So it's it's good. From the couple of games I've seen, uh, it looks like you've got a couple of good recruits that aren't necessarily superstars, but really do play a good role for you. And Dan Gormley is one of those guys that we've been really impressed with. Can you tell us a little bit about him and his playing style? Yeah, definitely. All the recruits sort of complement the, um, the team very nicely. Like we need a few hard nuts, a few skillful players, and we've got all sort of that to work together. And Gorma, yeah, he's, he's really good. Good bloke, excellent team man. He's a, he's a star too. Like he's a, he's a wonderful player and he's got super skills. Bit of an unusual kicking style, but we, we like it. So, no, he's, he's a good bloke to have around the club too, so he's a good pick-up. And a couple of those other role players have been Darren Booth and Matt Dooley, who have played a really important role so far as well. Um, you must be happy to have guys like that in who are experienced and can also play a role in the clinches. Yeah, definitely. Boothy along, along the half-back's excellent. He just adds that um, taller, sort of bigger body to help out everyone. And um, Dooley's is wonderful in the middle. It's extremely hard hard at it, loves it. So they're good to, good compliment for everyone else in the team, they, they're good. Uh, for yourself personally, you played up in the Northern Territory Football League in the off season. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience up there and how you feel that's helped your football? Yeah, no, nah, definitely the Northern Territory was wonderful for me. Um, made lifelong mates and a um, bit, of, bit of team success and everything, so it was wonderful to be out there and be a part of it. It's an experience that I definitely cherish and I definitely love so it's something I'd love to do again and recommend to anyone it's just it's a different world up there and different footy so well worth it well worth it. Obviously it's different weather and different conditions up there but are there any other main differences from football here to up in the Northern Territory? Uh, bits and pieces the, the conditions sort of complement the the changes in game style like uh, obviously it's going to be harder to mark because of the humidity and the wet ball and the wet ground and Sometimes when it's raining, it's not even like you can't even see a metre in front of you. Like it's, it's insane. So you, you just take the conditions play a major role in that. But if you take it in your stride, it's sort of easy enough to adapt to and not as different as you'd anticipate, I guess. And just before I let you go today, mate, uh, a bit of a lean season last year with Jared Buckley in the uh, coach's seat for the first time. But yeah. it seems like the boys have really galvanised at the moment and are getting around him and he seems to be a really good man to lead you forward. Do you feel that as a club as well? Yeah, definitely. Obviously last year we were all sort of getting our bearings and it was Bucks' first first year and we had a real young, unexperienced, inexperienced side and like obviously we hadn't played together so a year together we've got a lot of the blokes back again this year and Bucks has definitely helped help that gel and help that all work out this year. So hopefully we're looking on to bigger and better things this year and Bucks is obviously, he's the man for the job and he's a bloke that everyone wants to play for. So it's wonderful to have him in charge and I'm sure I know everyone in the club is extremely happy with it and looking forward to an exciting year. Beautiful. Thank you very much for joining me today, no worries, Josh. Mitch. Good luck for the weekend for the rest of the season. Too easy. Thanks for that, Mitch. And thank you for watching on MildurraWeekly.com.au. Make sure you keep posted for more videos.